Hey, how's it going today, everybody? I am 8Shots here again today with another video. And today I'm bringing you guys something a little different. This is more of a bit of an informative video, more of a nostalgic, reminiscent story type of video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And let's get straight into it because this is something that I've been hoping for since Call of Duty Ghost. And it has not been made a return until this year, June 1st. So let me give you guys the complete rundown. Recently this week, we just got the new up season update, the Call of Duty Mobile. Now, I don't play much of it myself. I do have the app and I run some games here and there. But I'm not too big on it. A lot of it is like a lot of pay stuff because it is free to play. And I just... I don't know, I do play it sometimes here and there, but not as much as I used to. Their update has come out, and coming out on June 1st, they are getting the new mode, Clan Wars. Which is where you go out with a group of six in your clan, and you compete to capture points in certain locations on a map that you use on the Call of Duty app. And when you capture these points, for each time you capture it, you get a point, and you defend it from other clans coming to attack that location and take the points from whatever certain game mode it is. It could be TDM, Kill Confirm, Domination, Hardpoint, s &D. Now, we didn't see this feature last time in, back in 2013 with Call of Duty Ghosts. And I have to tell you guys, this was one of my favorite, favorite all-time game modes that was ever introduced into a Call of Duty series. And as much as it wasn't so much looked at as a competitive well it might be competitive but it wasn't like a cdl range type of game mode this was really the game mode that brought me myself back in 2013 into like the competitive series and bringing out more of a competitive side and wanting to compete in it i know back before call of duty Ghosts, there was obviously black ops 2 and modern warfare 3 and black ops and modern warfare 2 you had ways to compete hard online like gbs and there were league play and all that sorts of stuff but ghost brought in clan wars and as much as it wasn't gbs or league play for me and myself in that time that age i was it felt very competitive and it was something to me that i was like this is something i may may not want to pursue 100 percent full throttle but look into because i I loved it. It was so much fun. Back then, the atmosphere was more like... Today, in Call of Duty, we have what more or less, I would say, they're like organizations. They're more competitive. But back then, everything was clan-based, in my opinion. It was lots of clans, clans, clans. Everybody had the same clan tag. Everybody was rocking some clan website with moderators and admins and certain tags and everything of the like. I remember being a part of two back in the day. One longer than the other and i met a lot more friends on the first group i joined i believe they were called dom dio optimus maximus it was a spanish couple who was running the clan somewhere in america a spanish couple and we had almost like thousand members across like everything playstation 3 playstation 4 the xbox 360 xbox one like PC, like everything, like we had people across every platform. I think there was even like a small Wii, a small, small Wii group that was doing games. Like, I mean, it was a big clan and you didn't really need to do anything to join. Like you had to kind of type a description of how you played and what type of player you were and how much, if you enjoyed COD or so what. And you just basically got accepted off that. Everyone almost instantly got accepted into these type of clans. And at that time in my life and where I was at, I loved that. It wasn't like a tryout or it wasn't like super competitive. They had their competitive league where they were doing GBs and running comps and tournaments and matches like that. But I wasn't fully into that at that moment until I started to think about it more when we started to do clan wars. Clan Wars and Call of Duty Ghosts was essentially you had a map and it had a couple locations on the map and each location would have its own game mode. Like again, like I said, TDM, uh, Hardpoint, Dom, Search no and Destroy, all that good shit. And you would have to capture it, get a certain amount of wins, and for each win you would get on that map with your clan. I believe there was 
five or six of us, I think, in each party that were going into these games. But anyway, so in each game mode, every time you win, you capture a point. And for every one you go, you capture more and more points. And I believe if you lost, you didn't lose any points. But let's say you won five games in a row on Search and Destroy on a certain area of the map. Well, then you would have another part of your clan, another half of party members running TDM or Hardpoint. And I remember that's how we were doing it. And it was just, it was, it was a blast. I don't know how else to explain it. Being able to go back on the old school Call of Duty app back in 2013. And it was really integrated with the app. You had to go on, and I remember I had an old school iPad back in the day. And go through it and like see through the map like how many points you you and your team captured or if you're behind how many more wins you need to accumulate to get past the team ahead of you that's at the top and at the end of each weekend that these clan wars took place the rewards you got back in the time i thought were amazing i'll put some up here on the screen of the operator skins that we got there weren't anything extreme or wild that we got like today you would see but remember this is back in 2013 we were getting a lot less free shit from Call of Duty back then, let me tell you. So, getting these exclusive, awesome looking rewards that, honestly, back in the day, if you saw someone in a party with them on, like, you knew they were somebody to, like, not fuck with. Like, you knew they were in a high-ranked clan. And I believe even your gamer tag changed, too. Normally, it was, like, a, I think just, like, a gray clan tag. And then if you once your uh, clan got to a certain level or got a certain amount of wins, it would turn yellow and then it would turn red. And at one point, everyone's clan tag, if you had like six motherfuckers in the lobby jump in and they had like all their clan tags were red. Like I, I backed out. I backed out because back then, like you knew those motherfuckers weren't something to be tested with. And I remember just the, the experience was so, so much fun and for the like, the mental I was at and where I was at back then. It just, I wanted to get in some sort of competitiveness in gaming, mainly Call of Duty like I've been. But I, I didn't know. I was too young at the time and GBs was just something that I didn't really want to do solo. And I didn't know anyone back then at the time that was running game battles or CMG or anything of the type. So... Clan Wars was my really only going to if I really wanted to get competitive and join up with a group of people and make callouts and hot comms and just playing the game and having a great fucking time doing it. Clan Wars is really my only option for me and we haven't seen it again since 2013 in Call of Duty Ghosts until now it's coming on June 1st in mobile like I've said and I wonder why. Why? Why haven't we seen that in another Call of Duty? We've seen foreign certain forms and iterations of like, well, League Play, for example. That's a that's way more competitive than I would say Clan Wars ever was. But I'd say in some Call of Duties, it almost felt felt like some sort of Clan War, not specifically, but almost felt like you know you joined a a clan back in the day on online and then you'd run League Play with them. But it was nothing too serious. Like you guys were taking like really competitive wise like you guys understand what i'm saying it felt just very very like i don't know i don't know i can't find the correct word i want to use to describe it but it was just so perfect i i enjoyed it it was my all time to this day in every call of duty we've had since then my favorite game mode like just the absolute best and with the friends i've made throughout the years and the people I know now, and how competitive the scene is today in Call of Duty, if they brought Clan Wars back for Call of Duty 2021, that in my mind would just be fucking insane. I believe there'd be way more people running it than there were back then. I believe they could make so much more improvements and updates to make it better than what it was back in 2013. But we just haven't seen it, and my main question is just, why? why or where is it like why didn't it ever come back there was such because there was something i think that only happened it was every weekend or every other weekend but i believe it was every other weekend the rewards you got from it were so badass the rewards you even get here in the mobile version that i'll throw up here on screen just a quick screenshot from my phone 
The rewards you get are e even awesome. The Ronin Operator skin, and it's all free. I believe it's gonna play the same way that Call of Duty Ghost Clan Wars played, just a little bit different with a couple tweaks here and there. But I believe it's gonna be about the same. There's a map layout, a couple locations on it. If you wanna, the easiest way to think about it, if you wanted to think for dance, for example, just picture for dance with a couple areas on it. And each area has its own game mode. And you basically just have to go and each one will rack you up points for your clan to win that game mode by the end of the weekend. So I believe that's basically how it's going to run just like how it did in Ghost. I might check it out. I just joined a random clan super quick just to get a peek of what it's going to look like. But it hasn't started yet. I may look into it possibly, very possibly on mobile because I enjoyed Clan Wars so much. It just felt like I got a better experience out of it than I do in League Play and Cold War to be honest. And I'm looking for a more competitive experience in today's Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy Clan Wars? Did you play it back in Call of Duty Ghost? Let me know if you did or didn't. And if you didn't, let me know if that's something you'd feel like would fit in Call of Duty or you'd like to see brought back into today's climate. Anyways, that's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this reminiscent old video. I just wanted to get this out there because I saw the news and I, inside my mind, I lost it because I'm telling you guys, since 2013, I've been waiting for Clan Wars to come back into Call of Duty. And in some form, we're sort of getting it. So I guess maybe it's a step in the direction. Fingers crossed for 2021. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I'm 8Shots. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back with another one very, very soon. Peace, guys.